Hi, I'm Meryl. And I'm Green Bean. And we are RV Theming. And we are about to show you or give you a little tour of our Jayco Whitehawk Ultralight 28 B, no, 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 D, S, B, H. Summit Edition. Summit Edition. Here come the kids. Dance is starting soon. Don't you like dance? Uh, so you have to forgive our lighting is a bit off. We are still getting used to all this. And also my sarcasm might come off as me just being mean. But Which is true. Slightly accurate. We hope it's you not true at all. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> We are selling this bad boy, so come in and take a look at what you can get. <laughs> Three steps up. All right, so first we have here our control, our control board. Is that what it's called? Panel. Panel. Good. Yeah. Panel. So we have our awning, our inside light, our slides, our tanks, water heaters, the whole bit. So that all right there along with a 12 volt uh you know cigarette lighter kind of thingy if you smoke which we do not <laughs> no smoking in this camp right no smoking did have a dog no cats um but still good shape <laughs> hmm. um so let's move in let's first do the bedroom this is the master suite master suite so we did take down all the valances and blinds that came with the RV. I wasn't into it. Why did we do that? What, what was it about it? They were brown. Everything was brown. Everything was brown. We also painted the walls white because it was brown. Mm -hmm. Everything was brown. So what is the logic behind that? You want to brighten it up and open up the space? Yes, we okay. did. We did it to brighten up the space. We did it to open it up, make it feel not so claustrophobic and make it feel more homey because right. this is our home. Awesome. So now we have our bedroom. Um, we've just put in these little baskets here, a little extra storage. Um, and I mean, yeah. you know, decent storage here. Nothing. You know. Pretty good though for RV storage. It's not bad for a 30 foot RV, truly. Right, right, exactly. So yeah, open that up just so we can see in there. You see it has the clothes hanger and it's pretty deep. Yep, so you can, you can lose all kinds of small articles and little knickknacks back there. Right. And we right. can tell you that uh, with uh, confidence. Right. So we also have our TV here, more storage here. I put these little hooks up here because we actually kept this, we put some pantry stuff in here. We kept canned goods and stuff in here. And I was right. so tired of when I got back from the grocery store having to like hold it <laughs> and play the so I just put these little hooks up here to make life a little bit easier. Uh, yeah. So there's some storage there. This is TV. You do this. It flips around here. So you can have TV in the master bedroom. Very nice. And then you have a mirror here. I'm going to get this. <laughs> to the side. This, to the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. We are going to keep the TV in here. We changed the mount in here as well because it didn't make much sense to us to have this flush against the wall when you're sitting here to relax and watch TV. You're kind of like yeah. So what did we do? So we put so we get we got a retractable mount. Oh, sorry, I didn't clip that in. We got a retractable mount so they could come out and pivot and pivot. Yeah. Right. Nice. So we can all watch TV. It's comfortable. Our necks don't hurt after a movie. That's right. Cool. It has worked we very well, We also upgraded the system here. Right. Brand um, new IRV. Yeah, IRV 34. You got the radio, you got Bluetooth, you got DVD, you know, the standard stuff. But we just, you know, this is a 2015. We wanted to get a 2019 uh, piece of equipment in here, so we got it in. Right, and it has the external speakers. It has the speaker zones. Right, and so we you... actually, we, um, speakers out there are marine speakers. They're not the ones that came with the RV. They were upgraded as well. Right. So, um, this is our jackknife sofa, another basket we put up here. Again, took the balances down. 
also have some nice, these are nice blackout curtains, which was fabulous for us when we were in really hot places like Tennessee. It was so hot, you guys. And I mean, we've got a great, we got a 15,000, I think, BT air conditioner. Yeah. We've got a great air conditioner in here for the amount of space. But even that, like when it's hot, it's hot, man. And so these were amazing. These blackout really curtains, were. you close it and you could feel the heat behind there. Mm -hmm. On the other so side. So hot. And then when you close it, it just shuts out all that heat. So these, I was really happy that we had made that right. switch. And they black out. So the morning, there's no creepy little sunlight finding little ways to get into your eye holes. And we really, really, really like our darkness. <laughs> Indeed. So, and again, I put the little hooks up here That's because nice. I was tired of the you know having to hold it up while putting stuff in there because we did keep food in here as well too this right little yeah, those hooks area. were lifesavers you'd be surprised yeah. at the little things that really have a a large impact right so this is jackknife so it does come out it turns into a bed um and this also our dinette turns into a bed as well um I did reupholster the cushions here, and I do have other covers as well. We're going um, to include those. We're yep. going to include those. They're um, like a chocolate brown color. Um, they're really nice, and they're super soft. So um, we did that. There is storage underneath of here. Plenty of storage underneath yep. of both. Under both of them. Um, and over here I didn't show over here and I'm I apologize for that all the storage we'll spin it around yeah sorry it's gonna be a little bit nuts here I wonder who he's barking at oh look we left DVDs in there that's awesome oh good oh and our son's virtual well you're gonna take that out sorry you don't get a virtual <laughs> virtual reality headset in there but uh we're gonna clean that out yeah so uh, nice storage uh, there as another well. storage thing has got our wires it's where we plug the TV in it's where the PlayStation was plugged in and all that good stuff Right. There's also storage down here. It goes all the way back and connects with the storage underneath the mm, sink. You so can't really big. see, but it's big under there. Pots um, and pans and such. Right. It's, it's, it's where we kept all of our pots and pans. Fuse box is down there. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sink. Cabinets. Oh, looks like we have a water bottle in there. We'll get out all the little things. Yeah, there's it's, little things still. Happen. Remnants, we call those. Yes. Another storage here. And this actually... Oh, yeah, and it's included. Fun fact, is our Wi-Fi Ranger. Now, we um, installed it so well... Yeah, that taking that we, it... <laughs> we can't get it out. Yeah, taking so, it out, taking it off would potentially... It's It would just be a bigger problem it's than it's worth. Head. And it's brand new. It's Couple brand new. Old. This Wi-Fi Ranger is amazing. If you don't have one and you're a full-time RVer, I really recommend getting one. Uh, it basically amps up the Wi-Fi, whether you're at a park or whether you're using a hotspot, and it creates your own secure network with that, along with making the signal so much yeah, better. Yeah, twice as us, strong. It's incredible. For us, we work online. It's incredibly important. We're sad to have to leave it. But we are. But, but we are, and we mm -hmm. are... Um, happy to give it to somebody who could benefit from it. So that's our Wi-Fi Ranger. It connects to there. Um, we're going to Yeah, we'll re it. We'll rehook it up there. We were we'll cleaning. Here there. Yeah. So that's our Wi-Fi Ranger. Microwave. High got, point microwave. Standard RV brand. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Good enough. So we got this cover for our stove. The stove works fine. The oven works as well. Um, the pilot light's a little whatever but yeah it's like, sometimes it's it just a little takes finicky a minute, but yeah. you know i mean we, it's weird we use a lighter and it's not that big of a deal so um we don't use it that much anyway mm -hmm. honestly um i'm more of a fan of the grill at this point yeah, we've we're been grillers grilling, we've been grilling pizzas that's right so you want our recipe let us um, know yeah <laughs> it consists of taking but a pizza and putting it on a grill on occasion and it's you know it's what you expect out of an rv oven mm -hmm. So, so we have our RV uh, refrigerator here, standard. Oh, there's a towel yeah, in there. We're defrosting. We're, we're defrosting yeah. it. So um, it out. it's a, you know, it's a fridge. Yep, it's good. towels in there. So. Yeah, it's great. It's a freezer. 
They Works work. well though. Yeah, it does. It, it does. I was and impressed. I, I hear a lot of complaints about like, oh, my RV fridge is really uneven. Some things freeze. Some things. Don't. Ours didn't really have that much of an issue. So yeah. I gotta say. Yeah, we were happy. I was pretty impressed with this RV fridge. Mm -hmm. um, again, over here I put more baskets, more storage. Um, here we have another another cabinet for storage. I need to get my spices out of here, but I also just wanted to leave them here so that you guys could see our spice rack system. We are including it yeah. in the sale. Yeah, not the spices. <laughs> I uh -huh. love my spices and I'm not including them. But, Except for um, this one. But these um, little clip-ins here, you know, they work really well. Yeah. So, you know, and this is a good amount of storage right here, yep. you know? Decent pantry. Mm -hmm. Decent pantry. We have a nice uh, you know, the thermostat, the, like yeah. I said, um, the heat keeps us real warm when it's been cold. Um, and the AC Beautiful. kicks butt. It's awesome. It really like is. it really, it's, you know, yep. for RV ACs, I know you can go heat. between and heat. Yeah. I know yeah. that it could, you, I, I don't know. We got the higher BTU. I, I don't, yeah. I'm not the guy. I'm not the, I'm not the RV guy, but like, <laughs> the RV guy who was next to us on our first campground, he was like, ooh, you got the nice That's AC. Right. And I was like, yeah, we do. Shout out to Daryl at <laughs> Baumgartner in uh, North. Lenore, North Carolina. Yeah, that man. guy is a gem. He is a and gem. And we're grateful and he, we spent so much time with him. Absolutely. We learned a lot from him. And he highly commended us on the AC unit. Right. So, um, okay. yeah, let's we get will, into let me just finish oh, out the storage oh, oh. here. Sorry. So we have this. Another pantry for storage. Um, we actually used it for our kids' clothes. But again, we are full-timers, <coughs> so that won't be everyone's experience. But there is, if you do want to use it for clothes, there is a uh, bar up there to hang things. That's right. Um, and the shelves are And the shelves movable. come out. Yeah. So we have put them back yep. into place. You can um, make it any size to fit your what you need, which was really neat. Right. And same thing in here. Oh. Kyle did not clean it Monster. out. Kyle didn't clean this one out, but it will get cleaned out. And again, this is another one that we use for bigger storage, but it has a shelf and we're gonna put it, it has a little ledges here. So it can have three shelves in there, okay? Right. We used it for uh, air fryer and some bigger appliances and such. Right. Great. So kids beds, bunks, I'm leaving the baskets. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little heartbroken about leaving the baskets, <laughs> but, um, this top bunk um, has the basket storage, but also we brought in the twin mattress that my, you know, from our old sticks and bricks home. Um, my son said he wanted rather, he'd rather have more space to keep his stuff and less bed. My daughter wanted more bed, less space to keep yeah, his stuff. Yeah, she wanted more but bed and more space. Yeah, let me tell you something about my daughter. She has three times as much stuff as my son, so her bed was just basically covered with her stuff. <laughs> yeah. But that's just, you know, that's full time living for you. Um, but so, um, yeah, my this is our son's bed. Um, he was able to keep some clothes, toys. Um, we, have yeah, a, books. we had a little bin over there, so we had like a little night side table. Um, and he kept his books and everything, his games and whatever in the baskets. And my daughter. You know, she still has some stuffed animals in here that we need to get out. And um, she had her baskets full. And at nighttime, when it was time for them to go to bed, we still wanted to stay out here and watch TV or whatever. We just closed the curtains. They had privacy. And um, yeah. yeah, it worked out really well. They had their own, basically like their own little rooms. Yeah. It wasn't a, it's not a bunk room per se, but yeah, it is. it's not soundproof or anything. No, but it, it is definitely um, a sufficient amount of privacy for kids who are yeah. not, you know, needing all that much privacy right now right. in their lives. Um, just there was there. no ladder that came with this. Oh, yeah. Um, that came with this RV. It was problematic. All of us had trouble getting up on this top bunk. <laughs> it was a little ridiculous. So now we just put our foot underneath here. We grab a hold here. We grab this and we go in. So right. very um, nice. Yeah. So this um, and it folds this up. This is out, too, yeah, it folds up way. to get it out of the way. It's not in the way there. It's perfect. But we um, 
this was actually a step for I think a Jeep like Jeeps yeah yeah it's like a yeah it's a step for a Jeep and we just found that it worked really well in here so um well ten dollar solution to a huge problem yep fantastic so, and I have to say I did a great job of fitting it in here to where the door opens and doesn't hit it I'm very pleased with my master craftsmanship yeah yes so thank you um, <laughs> thank you I'll be here all week and next which I forgot to mention oh. in the bedroom as well, the storage underneath of the bed, okay? So there is plenty of storage yeah. underneath of the bed, which also has the outdoor door as well. So the water yeah. heater's down there. Right. Um, and then we have all the storage down yeah, this here. This is huge, by so the way. So what we did here though, is it was really hard to open and close. It did not come with hydraulics. So we put in a hydraulic system. So it's just real easy to pop up yep. and get whatever you need down there. We also have this same system in the master bedroom. I forgot to show you guys. Um, but that one was already installed. That was so, already installed. Yeah, this one we installed ourselves. We, yeah, right. we, we, we put the hydraulics in with this one. That one has hydraulics as well. And it's a nice space for, you know, extra blankets and, um, you know, our warm clothes because it's summertime and a lot of people are, are being in the summer. And so it's just nice to have extra stuff. Yeah. Um, here in the kitchen. So in the let kitchen. me let like me that? back up. Did I you mean, hear oh her, everybody? Gosh. She wants. She called this the kitchen. Back up. Back up. All right. Everybody. <laughs> All right. Listen. Um, I also, on top of doing oh. taking down the balances and stuff, I put in these peel and stick subway tile backsplashes. Again, it really brightens up the joint. It yep. looks clean. It looks nice. They stay on really well. I'm very happy with them. Right, and um, I was really actually happy. resistant uh, to it. And post the installation of this very simple backsplash, I was absolutely delighted. I thought it, it really worked toward achieving the goal of brightening up the place and uh, just making it look so much more homey, right. truly. And I actually, I like the material a lot more than what was in the kitchen. Yeah, and, and here, absolutely. there was nothing. Easy to clean. So, yeah, this is nice. I put it in here as well in the bathroom. It's nice because, you know, when you brush your teeth, it's you can get some stuff everywhere. And it's gross, so this is easy to clean. So, anyway, um, we did that in here. We painted in here as well. I added some extra shelving because it's a, you know. Yeah, a little bit. Counter space is kind of non-existent. So but. we um, we do have these cabinets, uh, corner cabinet here. Let me, let me just show. It's actually deeper than you think. Okay. It's not too shabby. Yeah. And then down here Oops. we have another deep, another you know, one. another bigger cabinet. And then we have the these shelves up here where we keep our toothbrushes and our toothpaste and stuff, so we don't have to crowd up the little counter space that we have. We have some hooks. I did replace the shower curtain because I just was not crazy about. The one that was in here. Was just, uh, <laughs> nice and simple. And it was brown. We also upgraded the. Um, yeah, we also switched out the shower head. Um, the other one was fine. This one's better. Let's just say, yeah. like, it was fine, but this one and is. This better. is one of those built for RVs. It, it actually uh, it uses less water. I just I'm, the name is escaping me, but it uses less water to get the same job done, which is good for boondocking and all that sort of stuff. It really does make an impact. Right. It's like a third of the water use. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that might. Yeah, be... that might be that might be it, guys. Um, we love this camper. Um, we're just going to upgrade as is, to as a standard. Though. We're just a family of four who really likes stuff. Um, <laughs> trying to live in a 30 foot camper. We just need, we just need a few more feet of room. That's it. Um, that's it. So, so and um, let's, uh, we'll actually have, I think we'll have done the, we'll add the outside. I just want to show you some um, we'll pass through storage. We'll leave this here too, which I'm actually really sad about because I actually oh, yeah, really love bag it. bag storage. This is my bag storage. We, mm. you know, when we go and walk the dog, we need to bring the bag and this mm. is like the easiest thing and it's, it's so great. sad to let it go, but you guys will get it. Yeah. Um, oh, and we also installed this paper towel holder as well because again, yeah, not, a, not a lot of counter space. So we had, we yeah. have to create it where we can. Um, so last little view, there it is, the 2015 28 DB DSBH Jayco White Hawk Summit Edition. Okay, you want to go in the bedroom? Yeah, we actually didn't show this side. So yeah, this is the other side. 
more, you know, this is actually a little bit smaller than the other side, but uh, yeah, very nice. And there she is, my lovely wife. Alrighty, and we'll show you the pass-through storage on the outside in just a second. Okay, so now we're outside. Um, first, I want to note that this is a two-door RV, so there is a door going right into the bathroom, which is nice when your kids have messy days or the adults have messy days, and you can go right in and, and clean off there. Um, or if you're outside and your feet are dirty, you don't, you don't want to track dirt all in the house. So. Yeah, it really is. It really is a uh, very practical. Yeah, for also. sure, it's helpful. Um, so uh, we have this beautifully clean awning. Oh yeah, take Kyle a look at that. Kyle spent a good amount of time and a couple magic eraser mops cleaning. Yeah, the magic Very eraser clean. is amazing. It really it's not is. without its it's not without its labor, but the results are incredible. This thing looks almost new. It's it's unbelievable. It's I really st nice. I sit and stare at it sometimes. Yeah, well it's you've been so at it a long time now, so let's mm -hmm. keep going here. All right, <laughs> so. We notice these little hooks here. We have these little hooks here, and we have this little zipper portion right here on the awning. That is for, we actually have a zipped in enclosure. So if you're out and the bugs are real bad, um, we essentially have an attachment for this RV um, that creates a screen room, which has been, which was, I mean, it's been awesome. And um, that's one thing we're gonna miss. We're a little sad that we're not gonna take it with us, but it just it won't fit the new one. What's the name of it? Do you remember? Um, carefree. Yeah, carefree. But it's incredible. I'll, I'll, I'll it it adds like a hundred. We'll, we'll put it in the description. Um, it was very expensive, um, but very worth it. And you guys, um, it, it's easy. It's easy to set up. It's easy to take down. We kind of did all the hard work just by doing the initial setup. But now that's done, and um, yep. so it comes with like a um, like a tarp sort of thing. What yep, to cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skirt. A skirt, right? Yeah. That you can put here, so it covers the bottom of the RV, and then you have an enclosure here, and you can open you know, open and close the screen doors. Uh, right. It adds like 150 doors. square feet. It's it's incredible. Yeah, it was nice. We kind of used it as our office. Yep. Um, because you know when the kids are inside and they. You know, being loud it's hard to get things done so those are the outdoor speakers we were talking about those are marine speakers so they can really stand the test of time and weather so yep. they're pretty awesome um uh, our fresh water here's our you know yeah our fresh water thing and all that Out, outlets out here cable hookup all that sort of stuff yep so here's our pass-through storage. We have a little mini fridge in here. It's nice. We just keep cold drinks in there. Yeah. Uh, it's just Love nice. It. Again, more storage, more, you know, the RV, RV refrigerators are not the same size as residential. So it's just nice to have that little bit of extra storage. Yep. Um, we have this pass-through. We still have a few things in here, but we'll get them out. Um, oh, those are our old locks because, well, oh, let's, yeah. let's finish this. Yeah, the, the pass-through pass is huge. It's huge. It's, it's really great. nice. We, we, I mean, it was, was yeah, this well is where used. everything was. Yeah. Yep. Um, forgot to mention that. We uh, upgraded our lock system. We now have RV locks on here. It has a code, it has a keyless entry fob, and it has keys. So whatever you choose to do, you know, for us it was really nice. We could lock up the RV, go to the lake, go somewhere. If the kids wanted to come back, we just tell them you can use the code and they can get in. They don't need the keys. Right. Um, Incredible. It and if really you lock nice. them in there, which there are stories we've heard yeah. of people having Very to drive recently. back two hours or so to the homestead to get the other set. Right. It happens, guys. Not with this one. You have the combo and you get right back in. Right. So, um, you know, we and we did that with both locks, with both doors, not just the one door. Mm -hmm. We did it with the bathroom door as well. So we have All right. But we are including the other locks uh, with the RV just in case you... For whatever reason, you just have the backups right. uh, for, um, as well. 230 pound gas. 20 pounds. 20 pounds? Okay. Yeah, 220, 20, 20 gallons. Mm -hmm. uh, this, again, 30 this pounds. Maybe they feel like they're 30 pounds you know, heavy. We got the electric uh, yeah. thing. Leveler. Leveler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's the electric hitch, right? It's the electric hitch. Um, and we, we also have, this, have um, sway bar. Yeah, the equalizer sway bar comes with it as well. This thing is probably the best in the price point. It's just it's anywhere from nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars. You'll find it, 
but this comes with it. It is included and it is incredible. You don't feel any sway, weight distribution as well. It's a, it's a very, very simple setup and it's uh, what a benefit it, it is. And we also have these stabilizers as well. The lock arms, uh, they're on all four scissor jacks. So once you're done, you know, uh, leveling it and everything, you just hook that up and it takes the back and forth sway away, which is another yeah, added nice. benefit like, that comes with it as well. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice not feeling every That's single the other side minute. of the pass through. Yep. And there's the backup locks. Those are the original locks that came with the uh, RV. Mm -hmm. And then our slide. And then here's our other um, storage unit under here along with our hookups. Frameless windows, as you know. There's the bunk windows, nice outdoor light. It's much, much brighter than you think. There's our water and, uh, hookups, and there's actually an outdoor shower. We didn't mention that before, but there is as well. It's, it, it is what it is. It does the job if you got dirty feet or something, a dog. And here's the other side of the storage that was under the children's bunk. Uh, again, really big. And we were, this is where we kept like all our tables and stuff like that, because it's big, but it's not high so it doesn't have a lot of height to it but it is large all right and here is the back uh spare tire um yep full this. size spare full size spare we got this um what's it called that Sleep. is a <laughs> recreational hitch i believe a recreational hitch uh this was great this is where we put our bikes yeah the um, bike rack so for us it was really nice there's also a ladder here I know a lot of RVs don't come with ladders. Yeah, and it um, also has the Jayco's are known for having the ability to hold up adults up there. You don't have to worry about it. And that's where the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger is installed up top, up front in the center. And awesome. again, don't forget that is included. It is super duper spectacular. Right. And that's about it, guys. That, that's our RV. Jayco, Whitehawk, Ultralight, um, Summit Edition. Beautiful. Yeah. We're going to miss it for sure. I love this thing. I really do. But that's it. So this is Merrill. I am Green Bean. And we are... Signing off? Well, we are RV theming. Oh. And we are signing off. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right, guys. I forgot to mention we are including the RV cover. Oh, yeah. Um... Covers. <laughs> cover it up. So we've actually never used the cover, mm -hmm. so uh, we imagine it covers it. It's a cover. Uh, I know it was it was actually bought for this size RV, so it also comes with the wheel covers. There is one wheel missing. Don't know why. Yeah. But that's why we got it. But again, it's but it's fairly new because we never. You're used getting 93% we of a cover. There you go for <laughs> free.